Do you want to know how to reduce your risk of having a heart attack? Let's cut through the noise and dispel some common misconceptions about heart disease risk factors. We are constantly bombarded with information from social media, magazines and television, but not all of it is grounded in solid research. When you visit your doctor, they might focus on your LDL cholesterol, or perhaps your ApoB, and sometimes your total cholesterol if they're a bit behind on the latest studies. But are these the most significant indicators of your heart disease risk? Not exactly. A British Medical Journal article from 2021 by Professor Timothy David Noakes presented a compelling graph that illustrates the real culprits behind coronary heart disease. It shows the hazard ratios for developing this condition. A hazard ratio, for those not familiar, indicates how likely something is to cause a disease. The longer the bar on the graph, the higher the risk. Now you might be surprised to learn that the biggest risk factor is not high cholesterol, but type 2 diabetes, with a hazard ratio of 10.71. This is almost as significant as the risk of lung cancer from smoking. If you have type 2 diabetes, that's your primary focus for reducing heart attack risk. Following closely behind is metabolic syndrome, a cluster of conditions including high triglycerides, high blood pressure, and a large waistline. Hypertension or high blood pressure is the third highest risk factor. The fourth biggest risk factor is obesity, and while smoking is extremely harmful, it only ranks fifth. Even more surprising, genetics and elevated LDL cholesterol have lower hazard ratios compared to these conditions. Among biochemical markers, insulin resistance and high triglycerides are more significant risks. So, it's clear that we need to shift our attention to these major risk factors type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, hypertension, and obesity. But how do we manage them? Let's dive deeper into these risk factors and see how we can manage them. First, let's understand what a hazard ratio is. Now, imagine you're at a race and you're betting on which horse will win. The hazard ratio is like the odds given to each horse, indicating how likely it is to cross the finish line first. In the context of health and diseases, a hazard ratio tells us how likely a certain factor is to cause a condition. Let's think of the condition as the finish line, and the factors as the horses. The higher the hazard ratio, the stronger the horse, the greater the likelihood that this factor will reach the finish line, or in our case, cause the condition. For instance, if a factor has a hazard ratio of 5, it's 5 times more likely to cause the condition than if it had a hazard ratio of 1. So a higher hazard ratio means a higher risk. Now, let's go back to the graph from the British Medical Journal article. Each bar in the graph represents a risk factor for coronary heart disease. The length of the bar corresponds to the hazard ratio of that factor. The longer the bar, the higher the hazard ratio, and the greater the risk. For example, if the bar representing type 2 diabetes is the longest, it means that type 2 diabetes has the highest hazard ratio and is the most likely to cause coronary heart disease. A hazard ratio is not a prediction. It doesn't tell us that someone will definitely develop a condition. It's a measure of risk, not certainty. It tells us where to focus our efforts to reduce the likelihood of developing a condition. It's important to understand that the hazard ratio is a relative measure. It compares the risk of one factor to another. It doesn't tell us the absolute risk or the exact chance of developing a condition. So when you look at the graph, keep in mind that it's showing relative risks. It's telling us which factors are more likely to cause coronary heart disease compared to others, not the exact likelihood of developing the disease. Now that we understand hazard ratios, let's see what they reveal about heart disease risks. Here are the major risk factors for heart disease. First up, type 2 diabetes takes the lead with a hazard ratio of a whopping 10.71. So, if you're grappling with type 2 diabetes, this should be your primary focus for reducing heart attack risk. Next in line is metabolic syndrome, a condition characterized by high triglycerides, high blood pressure, and a large waist circumference. This trifecta packs a punch, significantly raising your risk for heart disease. Third on our list is hypertension, also known as high blood pressure. It's crucial to lower your blood pressure to reduce your heart attack risk. Think of it as a ticking time bomb. The longer it goes unchecked, the greater the damage. The fourth major risk factor is obesity. If you're carrying around extra weight, it's time to shed those pounds. A ketogenic or carnivore diet can help you lose weight and reduce this risk. Smoking is the fifth biggest risk factor. While it's extremely harmful, it's interesting to note that type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, hypertension, and obesity pose even more danger. 
Now let's talk about genetics. While it does play a role, it has a lower hazard ratio compared to these conditions. That's good news because it means you're not necessarily doomed by your DNA. Among biochemical markers, insulin resistance and high triglycerides stand out. Elevated LDL cholesterol, often demonized as the bad guy, has a hazard ratio of only 1.38, which is much lower than type 2 diabetes. So, what does all this mean? Well, it's simple. Focus your efforts on the major risk factors, type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, hypertension, and obesity. A proper human diet, whether ketogenic or carnivore, can significantly reduce these risks. The key is to prioritize. Don't get caught up in chasing after every potential risk factor. Instead, concentrate on the big players that can make a real difference in your heart health. So, these are the factors you should focus your efforts on. You may be wondering how you can reduce these risks. Well, the answer may lie on your plate. Yes, diet plays a crucial role in mitigating the risks of heart disease. A proper human diet, whether ketogenic or carnivore, can be a game changer. These diets are high in healthy fats and low in carbs, helping to control blood sugar levels, reduce obesity and manage metabolic syndrome, all of which are significant risk factors for heart disease. They are particularly beneficial for individuals with type 2 diabetes, a condition that greatly increases heart disease risks. But what about low-fat diets? For years, they've been promoted as heart healthy, but recent studies are challenging this notion. The study published in the British Medical Journal revealed that postmenopausal women with coronary heart disease who followed a low-fat diet had a 47 to 61 percent higher risk of further heart complications. This alarming statistic suggests that low-fat diets may not be the best option for everyone, especially those with insulin resistance. Instead, the study supports a high-fat, low-carb diet. In essence, this type of diet helps to manage insulin resistance, a notable risk factor for heart disease. It also aids in weight loss and reduces high triglyceride levels, both of which are crucial for heart health. So, it's time to rethink our dietary choices. It's not about restricting calories or avoiding fats, it's about choosing the right kinds of fats, the ones that fuel our bodies and support our heart health. Everyone's body is different. What works for one person may not work for another. It's important to find a diet that suits your individual needs and stick to it. Consult with a healthcare professional before making any drastic changes to your diet. In essence, adopting a diet that supports your health is key. By doing so, you can significantly reduce your risk of heart disease and lead a healthier, happier life. It's a journey worth embarking on for your heart's sake. Let's summarize what we've learned today. An abundance of information exists out there, often contradictory and confusing, about what truly affects our risk of heart disease. But our focus should be on facts backed by credible research. The key risk factors, as illustrated by the British Medical Journal's graph, are type 2 diabetes, metabolic syndrome, hypertension, and obesity. Each of these conditions significantly raises the hazard ratio, which is the likelihood of developing coronary heart disease. It's essential to understand that these factors pose a greater risk than smoking or even genetics. Type 2, diabetes stands out as the most significant risk factor, with a hazard ratio that rivals the risk of lung cancer from smoking. If you're grappling with this condition, it's crucial to make it your primary focus in your quest to reduce heart attack risk. Metabolic syndrome, encompassing high triglycerides, high blood pressure and large waist circumference takes the second spot. Hypertension and obesity follow closely behind. These conditions are more dangerous than we often realize and it's vital to manage them effectively. Surprisingly, LDL cholesterol, a common point of concern in many discussions about heart health, has a much lower hazard ratio than the conditions mentioned above. This finding challenges the conventional wisdom about cholesterol's role in heart disease, the role of diet in managing these risk factors cannot be overstated. Studies have shown that a low-carb, high-fat diet, such as the ketogenic or carnivore diet, can help manage these conditions and reduce heart disease risk. So if you've had success in reversing type 2 diabetes or managing any of these conditions through dietary changes, we'd love to hear your story. Consider joining our community for additional support where you'll find people on similar journeys to better health. In conclusion, the path to reducing heart disease risk lies in focusing on the major risk factors and adopting a diet that supports your health rather than obsessing over cholesterol levels. Remember, it's about adopting a diet that supports your health. See you in the next video.